Hello everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome again. We're going to talk about a rumor right now. This is a rumor, a rat, whatever you will. This is Roma Baronwood. This person right here, Baron Wart, uh, from Nidhi Sanjian's The Nauth generation that is going to be coming in May 24th or so. Uh, says, so it's Hila, recognize the new guy. It was a mod for him back when he did Boyfriend ASMR role. He scanned his fans, two or three of his mods, into thousands of dollars in debt. I'm currently working on a document and we'll see more information that I have been getting. So this person is going to be making a document on that. His last stream was a black screen, screen apology video. Can't make this S up. What's even more wild is a black screen video was three weeks ago. Bro really said, sorry, see ya. Man, rebound, and he bounced back so fast. Well, then I guess he'll fight, fit right in. Sounds like a perfect person to be an EG, not gonna lie. So this is the Roma, Roma, the new one. Basically, he did some shorts. Uh, he already has 10.4K subscribers, which is, of course, normal. This is the thing that's being he's being accused of being. This nighttime audios right here. People are, are mentioning his past life right here. Did you see this stuff about new NGN guy being a scammer? Uh, right here, he says, saw the teaser, recognized the new guy. Thing that I mentioned here. Nighttime Audios being the main person there. The Truth and My Apologies was his last video three weeks ago. Just going over the, the story as we have it right now. Again, going over this right here. And these are people who spoke, who dealt with Nighttime Audios, which is alleged to be the same person as this Roma Wave, uh, Baron Wart. Roma Baron Wart. So here we go. It says, my thoughts on next behavior and also my apologies to the people I hurt and care for most about. I'm so tired of being this puppet in this game and I'm too disappointed in Nick that he really messed me up and manipulated and brainwashed me so badly. I will no longer be that mod wrapped around your stupid finger in any longer. I'm exposing you because I'm standing for up for what's right. And you, oh, look out. Not only you hurt the most amazing people I worked with, but severely brainwashed me. We gave support and ignored all of us and spat in your faces. Never cared for any of us. The only people who cared for people gifting you. So yeah, this person was, was accused of just caring for the people who gifted him money, apparently. Nothing more than a narcissist who only cares for money and about yourself. I can't believe I looked uh, I looked to you as a sibling figure. So hear my full words in addressing the Nighttime Audio's behavior and my apology to the people I heard as well. Wanted to write something in Nighttime Audio's behavior for a long while, and I'm going to put my foot down and let go of make things right for once. And to find the right words to put into sentence, but I'm finally going to say my part. As you all know, I was Nighttime Audio's last OG mods. And yes, I know I should have left the server the moment his behavior started to change for the shift, but I was blindsided by his flattering and his innocence. Just... Now, no, I'm seriously disappointed in Nighttime Audios, as everyone else is right now, and I will no longer support him or call him a brother or defend him anymore. He doesn't deserve anything, uh, any of that sort, so I blocked him and unsubscribed. Not only did he hurt us mods in the server, but he also brainwashed the rest of his viewers with flattery to gift him on throne and money, which he promoted every day, which I didn't look good at all, but I also want to say sorry wholeheartedly to the people he hurt. Basically, he's, he's going through, you know, him saying that, you know, uh, there are, the behaviors ended up changing. Uh, he's, his started to change along with it. Uh, basically, the mods were kind of brainwashed and kind of made to feel, you know, like they needed to protect him. Uh, really affected me to fall for his lies and mistreatment because I suffered from severe viral meningitis. So that was two months of age. Uh, it took me way longer to process the true abusive behavior. Uh, the behavior of any sort is, should never be ignored. Of course, did not tolerate that type of thing. Um, he will never forgive what they did to someone else. I'm not going to mention the name. The name is already there if you want to see it. Uh, what he did to the community was not good either. It's got to be goodbye to all those two years. So nighttime audios farewell. I'm finally stepping my on my ground and, you know, putting his foot down. And here's Nicholas Knight, Knight Indale, aspiring voice talent, nighttime audio. Finally doing the right thing by saying and helping you expose this coward that Nick is. Nick even put back up his account for Twitter and protected tweets as well as running. Yeah, basically protected everything. So, yeah, uh, this is quite a thing to go through. Um, and May 2nd, so this was very recent. This was very recent. Uh, I saw Nick's behavior kept getting worse. I was scared for no one believed me, though. You put your heart into everything here. So, yeah, here's another thing that someone else wrote. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, big long tweets that needs to be said. Most, no, uh, this person was also a mod. Became a mod for the first time. Started dating a friend of theirs. Never defended her. Uh, he did in the beginning, six months in. He started acting ignorant. He didn't want, um, to know he was with her. So he's trying to hide dating somebody. Uh, mods removed the venting channel and mental health sake, but it wasn't well accepted. Us mods got har harassed, downgraded, cursed, and it wasn't defended by Nick, of course. Uh, told that they didn't care about them at all. They did care. They just wanted to protect the mental health. Uh, Nick claimed that he was mistreated by the mom. He used it to get attention. Basically a manipulator, a big time manipulator from what this, this whole story is saying. 
uh, they say that you know you can DM them if you want more info. But yeah, everything here is um, it's kind of crazy. And of course, I want to give you a bit of a uh, audio so that you can kind of make it out for yourself whether this is the same person or not. It was, it was doing remarkably. Like I hit a total of a million views, and that was a whole thing. And I think a week later, I hit two million. And I had oh. no, I had, I had no idea like where it came from. So that's a little bit of his, um, his voice. So you can kind of make a decision for yourself. Like I said, this is still a rumor, but he has a dark past from what it seems like. Very manipulative, uh, boyfriend experience type of thing. So it looks like he'll fit right in with Nidhi Sanji. A bit of an update on everything, as you've seen in my last couple of videos. It has been involving Denoth because that's the big story right now. We are going through everything and seeing how everything's going. Uh, of course, they're actually getting a good teaser trailer. They got everything. Anyway, why do their models get the same vibe as mid-2000s JRPG characters? That's what they're trying to go for. Wave title should be smaller. Person in the middle doesn't uh, isn't shown properly as half of her attire too, but the blur effects surrounding it, or at least lower opacity, white blur. The intern that made it spent all their time that they could, for goodness sakes. They did a decade old version of Photoshop, of course. There's one thing I can say it's pray the reality of the situation is that the contracts and all were signed before February. And that none of them were unfortunately able to black out since with the channels being less than a month old. But it's three listed greater May 2nd. That need to be intended for the earlier debut. Yeah, they're probably uh, waiting for everything to die down. And of course, we have Nidhi Santien doing, you know, Roma, Twisty, Clara. And here is uh, Twisty with a translated bio. I'm an Azako, a twisty lady who lives in a rumored haunted mansion belonging to Nidhi Sanjian. Self-aware. Self-aware. That's what I wanted to add to this whole thing. She's self-aware. She's very self-aware. Because not only has she done that, she's also doing the mama thing. Oh, Joe sama I hate myself. I did random posting tests to see if I was out of jail and it worked. I didn't think I was gonna. My text was just takoyaki. And when I tried to explain myself, it did not send. Twisty, Clara, I, I'm gone, deceased, what the hell? And failed to send, failed to send, failed to send. So yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're going through the, the troubles. They're going through the troubles that everyone's going through. And Twisty is very self-aware. Like I said, she's now in a cage. She's stuck in a cage. Nidhi Sanji put them in the cage. So very, very self-aware of the whole situation. Um, basically, happy, the most happy and free Nidhi Sanji liver. At the very least, they're not stuck in, in the, uh, the cave inside the hole where they have to put the lotion on their hands. But other than that, it seems to be uh, going well for them, I guess. And uh, finally, uh, Clara and them are doing the uh, Japanese speak. Uh because i guess they're trying to cater to the uh japanese audience who can speak english but join egn to voice vta currently staying in japan but the guy well i believe it was earth brown and everyone and the internet is eternal so yeah they're trying to do this thing right here livers might be aware of the situation but this is the only available option they're willing to take a bet however we just heard a glimpse of their voice typing could come from some habit they haven't debuted yet might be soon a judge but it would be wrong to take this as a rambling i uh, won't find any joy in this gg -E en had changed if not it'd be it may not be good to build a better career in there uh don't mind them they're all preparing for jp and en closes so yeah they're just they're just making sure what people are saying that they're just making sure that they have an exit if things go well scammer and two clueless jp girls are just using the gn as stepping stone bta is gone but yes the girls are fluent in japanese reek of meliko and kotaka ara it may be possible that they've specifically chosen applicants based on that or they want applicants who can control by having them in japan maybe who knows bta is still around um, so VTA is not gone. VTA is still around. It's still there. It just hasn't been having anything uh, visible. But yeah, that's the that's what I wanted to mention on this end. Uh, just a little bit of an update on the whole situation with all of them. Here is a good question that I think is, needs an answer. Uh, what is Nidhi Sanji doing to promote their new wave? Uh, you know, they, they watch Pomo Selen, etc. This person watched Pomo Selen and Anna. Uh, Hollow does take their new generations for quite some time, like with Advent, etc. They usually do a month before it pops out. Right now, this one seems to just be like a week. Like, I think they're going to pop out on Friday as of this writing. Uh, so they are really, really, really shortening the time. Release a teaser a few weeks early. Open the Twitter accounts a few weeks early and have them just try to drum up uh, support. Hollow Live does, but Nidhi Sandy is not on the same level. Nidhi Sandy just does maybe a week. Right now, they released it quite literally last night as of recording of this. They put out the teaser last night and they mentioned everything pretty much yesterday, uh, the 20th. So they did about three to four days before. Uh, so that's kind of crazy that they would do it that, that early, that short, uh, maybe so that there won't be any controversies. I don't know. Used to do a lot more stuff in, like Hololive does. I don't know if they still do that anymore. 
Seeing that the theme song for Last Wave TTT wasn't sung by TTT, seeing that TTT isn't the official name of TTT, they're just a, a one that they put themselves, um, they're not doing much. What you saw the past few days is likely all there is. Gate teaser, tweets, teaser video, and that's it. And the livers doing their things on their Twitter. I suppose they will push merch a bit more this time. The gate teaser. Funniest thing is, the gate image is a stock image that was edited. Yes, it was. I only saw the tweet, just an effing tweet. Generally do the bare minimum nowadays, as they mentioned with TTT and things like that. It used to be a bit more back in the day, but now they pretty much gave up on that part and are doing basically accelerate, like Parachan says, and uh, they're just trying to get the things out as quickly as they can. TTT last wave was brutal because they had a single tweet for promotion. Wave was killed even before it could start. Yeah, that's what sucks about TTT. I really feel bad for them, honestly. If we compare to Hollow, Hollow teaser announcement, trailer on stream, teaser announcement and t trailer tweets, individual introduction videos, Promotion by other members, group song, debut watch along, promotion by other branches. Niji teaser tweet, like what they just did. Uh, basically group song, perhaps promotion by other members, little to no promotion. This comparison was made using advent and device announcement from Hollow and Niji used TTT and now Denoth. Of course, I'm not going to deny Denoth was just announced and it could be getting more promotion before the debut. We don't know, but the debut is just so freaking short. I don't know how it's going to go for them, how it could go positively in this case. This is a bit of a quickie here. Um... Back in November, if everybody remembers, they were doing Nidhi Sandi Ian acting focused VTuber auditions. They're trying to do, you know, candidates must be able to actively stream, create content, 18 years old, create a character that suits them best, you know, that type of thing. So if what Sayu, CYU, the voice actor, said is true, and they don't want you to voice act anywhere else other than Nidhi Sanji, um, is the not, I don't know if the not is going to be people from those auditions. It seems like the, the timing is just, just about right for the not to be those auditions. So we might be seeing more uh, voice acting on their part. They chose a character that they wanted. So we'll see about that. Uh, they're just going to focus more on ASMR roleplay. Based on the voices, it really does seem like ASMR is going to be one of their main pushes. Probably from these voice acting auditions, seeing that their first cells are voice acting. I thought this wave would be recent open auditions. It would mean that they overspeed everything. Yeah, it's not that DD Design doesn't want them to be voice actors. They want them to be the sole moneymaker for them not have voice actors sideways. That's what Sayu was told that he needed, to, he needed to cancel every other voice acting gig he had. He needed to not be with a voice acting agency because Niji Sanji wants you to just give them money. Here is a commentary where someone mentioned that they were thinking that they were going to be, you know, Niji Sanji Ian was going to be laying low for a bit, at least until the quarter four report came out, came out and then, you know, start pushing in more, uh, more talents. But of course, as we know, Niji Sanji Ian doesn't do that. At this point, any attempt to make quarter four not look like a train wreck is expectable. The real challenge is hoping their investors are that oblivious. Judging from the Yahoo JP board, no lack of investors who have drunk the Kool-Aid. Accelerate, not true. It took a lot longer to debut this one, according to this person, than others. The wait time was longer. Uh, agreed for the rest, though. Quality and promotion is horrible, especially at that gate. Yeah, the gate was a dumb one. The gate was absolutely a dumb one. I don't I don't know why they chose that gate, but the gate was not. It, it, was, it was weird. It made it look like a graduation gate. It's the longest gap thus far compared to the gaps between the usual debut schedule. And the gate teaser was really lackluster at best. Apart from that one tweet, it looks like they're back to their usual debut format of a slideshow plus short voice line, at least before Crisis and TTT debut. So Lazulite and Obsidia was two months between Lazulite, Etheria 2.5 months, 2.5 months. This one was seven months between TTT and uh, Denoth. So they at least waited a little bit longer, I guess. I think it took longer because Selene happened. If Selene uh, wasn't the dumpster fire, then they would have done it in about every two months, maybe maybe done it a lot earlier. Um, for example, Salamis back then was their financial report and boosting their stock. So yeah, they probably, Selene probably also would have been in their financial report because Selene was giving them a lot of money. Uh, one word, negligible. Livers are negligible. They're simply throwing livers at the wall, waiting for that one to stick. They want their version of Gargura. Yeah, they seem like they're, they're really pushing for the version of Gargura. I'm not sure if it's going to work for them. It, so far, it hasn't. Salome was possibly their chance for a Gargura killer, but they decided to not support her the way that she deserved to be supported. When the yacht is sinking, they will drown in the water while attempting to scream underwater. How is this possible? Uh, while the contract sign happened recently, kind of. I think the models were ready for quite some time. They were just waiting for the right time because things were going crazy It's since uh, February. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. Uh, it's going to probably be okay because of the fact they're going to push for ASMR, maybe boyfriend and girlfriend experience, and they're going to try to push for the parasocialism as far, much as they can. So it's not going to hurt them too much. But yeah, they waited quite a while for this one, thanks to Selene. Bit of a quickie involving Made Mint. If we, As we know, Made Mint is not Pomu. Not Pomu is Made Mint. Uh, not sure if anyone has mentioned it in here, but Mint mentioned yesterday she never actually got any fan gifts that were sent to her through GN. That's really messed up. If true, if true, that's really messed up. 
She tried to play it off as some sort of communication mistake, but we all know it probably wasn't a mistake. They even like keeping the gifts. Dear Lordy, that's too much. That's too much even for me. If true, it's just dirty. No excuse for that. Very likely true. I swear this out of Reddit post someone Niji ID. Not sure if main or PL saying that do not send him fan letters or gifts. Not sure which one because he won't receive it. Most likely nuked now because of the hot sorting time earlier. It was Riza Avaluna that said it. I remember seeing that tweet, being very frustrated. Didn't think Ian Livers received the same treatment though. And here is a tweet from a past life of Aniti Santi ID. It says, to elaborate, fan mail will not reach me. A few people have reported sending their fan mail through Motto. Some even reported that their mail re reached any color. But uh, until no one from the staff told me about these, please don't waste your money on these things. So they actually put it out there that it was Niti Sanji. I guess keeping their stuff or not sending their stuff or something like that. Uh, most definitely received fan letters considering the fact that she said she received their final batch as mint. But guess other than that are probably trashed on site by Neji. I can understand why since it probably costs more to ship. So yeah, since they, they are a cheap A company, they do not want to ship things out. Won't pretend to be surprised if the gifts were kept at the office as lost and found. Would they pay shipping just fee just to send the gifts to livers? Obviously not. To imagine these gifts by loving fans intended for their Oshi only to end up picked up by some random office schmuck. So yeah, that's the issue. Uh, unfortunately for Mint, looks like it's probably true with the with the fan gifts. The fan letters were probably sent to her, but the fan gifts are probably not because it costs more money. Now we have a little bit of a meme time with you guys because I know you guys love the memes. I love the memes. Meme time is always a fun time. We have Ocean Gate and then we have Niji Gate. Oof, a little too soon maybe? Who knows? I just feel like a schizo post, black company, just the humor. Uh, is this something for ants? And basically here, paying an artist? Stock image, negligibly altered. So more, more, uh, more little things in here with Niji Sanji. More little memes going on here. And it says, coincidence? I think not. Uh, well, 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 would you look at the time? A little bit of a Gura meme in, in here mixed in with everything. And yeah, basically it's Gura time again. New GE and Wave has summoned a shark. People are saying, yeah, go, hey boys. Yes, sir. Tactical shark. Why? Because it's effing hilarious. So yeah, uh, it could just be a coincidence, but it's a very interesting coincidence. A very interesting coincidence. And here we are. New EGN members stuck in the cages and uh, basically this, this person's enjoying it. Finana is just enjoying their time. And then you have, uh, who else? The fan base is just like, oh, just first time here. But yeah, it's basically there's no escape. The only hope is sweet relief of graduation. Yes. Some people are enjoying their time in Niji Sanji, which is, I mean, it's their, it's their right to, this, to enjoy the time in Niji Sanji. Not going to take it away from them, but still, you know, kind of crazy. A bit more news here. Uh, Boycott Bros are targeting our Astel of Hollow Stars for inadvertently mentioning McDonald's in their timeline. But of course, they don't care when, you know, Niji Sanji has McDonald's in their timeline. Of course. But here is what is going on here with everything that's, that's happening. Apparently, oh no, I made a mistake with my order and got three large McDonald's fries, full stomach. And then, you know, people are mentioning, you know, the, 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 the boycotts of all these people who support uh, one side that they don't like. Because, of course, that's always going to happen. Again, people mentioning it again. Uh, Mr. Ass, hope you will take your time to read this. Again, just basically, you like something that I don't like. Holy crap, there's so many people. This basically, you like, you, you like something that I don't like or you mention something that I'm uh, actively against. And there they go. They want to uh, go and go ahead and make a boycott. Uh, the the virgin, you know, no, you must boycott uh, McDonald's versus a Chad Law. Whoops, I accidentally ordered too many delicious McDonald's fries. Sure, most of those who boycott use products that help blank the country. Suddenly, I'm Kevin McRoyal, JK. I had it like five days ago. Have you seen spam this bad in a long time? Yes. Made a thread about it. Generally, how I feel. It's just annoying to see. Uh, even as comments support him, but please stop bugging hollow talents or uh, anyone to support causes they're not supposed to support. They are there to entertain, not remind you of terrible things in the world. Idiot spamming the, the boycott stuff. Yeah, it's just people spamming. It is putting politics in a place where politics doesn't belong because most people, including myself, do not want to be involved in these types of politics because there are very, very fiery people on both sides. And in general, you don't want to be involved with those extremely fiery people because they will tear you down with their with just their, their arguments. It will just hurt you in the long run. Glad assholes ignoring those comments. To be honest, found boycott bros and thus related stuff kind of annoying. Like I get McDonald's is one of the supporters, but please stop targeting the people harmfully. It's less the cause, more of an excuse to attack. Yeah, they're using it as an excuse to attack. That's really what it is. Virtual signal attack, whatever you want to call it. That's what they're trying to use. And it says an harmless tweet about order too many fries for McDonald's. It's just a harmless tweet, but people, of course, are going to take it too far. Funny to see them see that we're not being able to harass him to doing the dumb virtue signaling stuff. So yeah, they try to make him virtual signal. And of course, Astel is like, I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole. It's kind of the same thing that I try to do. I don't touch those things with a 10-foot pole because it's just way too dangerous to do that. 
That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.